Homing Squad. Been a while. I did a live stream of why my video I haven't been posting. You know the reasons why. And, you know, found out the real issue. I can't make sledges. So, my intro's been acting, you know, it's been taking me a bit to get an intro. So, today's video is a kind of a small series. Let me turn off my Xbox. Got a new Xbox, by the way. Um, it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's a small series. I would say it's a draw my life type series, but me talking about it. Now, there are a couple of reasons. Go ahead, spam the excuse, the word excuse in my comments all you want, but these are real reasons for me. One of the reasons is the draw my life will take a while to record and edit and stuff, and it's like, I, do, I like talking more. I like moving my hands and talking and blah, 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 blah all that kind of stuff. The second reason is, is there's a part of, I would say a, a chunk of my life I don't want to talk about right now until I have the courage built up to talk about it. Just letting you know that. And um, some of you do know a par part of the part of it, but not 100% what it is. So yeah, I'm, well, I'm taking this into sections because what a draw my life is, is from birth to present day. I could do present day if I wanted to, but um, present day, I'm sitting on my beautiful couch out of water, was just recently actually watching YouTube videos. Okay, video's over. Like, comment, share, subscribe, tap that bell or smash it, but don't hit it too hard. It does have feelings, guys. Please be mindful of the things that have feelings. And I'll see you guys next time. Psych, by the way. If you guys knew me, camera. Oh, one sec. There we go. And we pull this thing up so I could sit up without killing my back. Over here. Welcome to my room. Yellow light is because of the ceiling fan has a yellow light. It's not an LED white. White light, guys, sorry. So, I'm taking this off in sections. I'm probably gonna start with my birth, like probably up till second grade and then end the video and do part two. But this is gonna be in multiple parts. And I know for sure the last part like the last few videos will be the part that gets me the most. The reason for that is, well, it makes me very emotional. It will trigger a lot of you. It may not be appropriate for YouTube. I'm still trying to think. I'm reading all the community guidelines. I'm trying to like, I'm researching this to make sure that that one specific part of my life is okay because it, it is has abuse in it physical and verbal and emotional abuse there is a such thing as an emotional abuse and there's a small bit of neglect in it okay but that's those are the reasons I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that that's why I mean I think I am but I'm not 100% sure because you know YouTube kind of is going a little yeah, wacko and stuff <laughs> because of Papa, the government, and a bunch of other bull crap. Anyway, so I'm also trying to do the transition thing so you're in like separate rooms so it's not as boring. Gotta bring something back. Turtle goes on the head. Oh, if you're all wondering how the bird's birthday went, it went good. We had a birthday party for the bird. Okay, so there's 95 minutes left of the battery. Okay. Battery runs out a little. Weird. It's an old camera. Batteries are a little... 
but I do have two. I do have two batteries, so I don't have to directly be like, oh crap, I gotta record, I have to wait an hour for the battery to fully charge, or probably two hours, then I can record. I'm trying to balance this turtle on my head now because my hair is shorter. It's harder than you think. When my hair was longer, it was a little more flat. Yeah. What do you want, Bubbles? By the way, if you're new to this channel, this is Bubbles. And the reason I say if you are new is because I'm starting to slowly grow subscribers and it's not like I'm hitting like 10, 12 subscribers a day or something or a week. I've been stuck on 112 for like four months now and I just recently gained four subscribers in the past two weeks. So, yeah. There's also, I'm going to tell you, this video might get a lot longer than you expect, so I am kind of making sure that all these clips are not long. There's also another thing with these transitions. You might see the same scene over and over again, like the background mostly. I don't have a lot of places I can film. I don't think you guys actually want to see my utility room right now. It's a mess. It has Christmas decorations in it. All right, get off. Hey, I caught him. You behave. Okay. So, let's start. <clears throat> Dramatic music. I'm sorry, I don't have an editor. I'm, I'm the, I film, I edit, and I, pr and I do every part of my video myself. I don't have money for an editor. I have no money for a crew. Nobody wants to be my camera person because they're afraid if they talk that it'll pick the camera will pick it up, which it will. But I just mostly need to make sure that somebody can hit record for me. So yeah, okay. <clears throat> Back to the video. We're starting at the beginning. On September 13th, 1998 in a I want to call it a town but it's also not as big as a city but it's not small well I think back then it was small because it has got built up over the past 21 years anyway this hospital also does not deliver children anymore I made my grand entrance into the world beautiful and loud and also fat i had to ask my father a lot of these questions by the way men and my other family members that knew me from when i was a baby out of the three of us i have an older brother and an older sister i was the chubbiest you can see it from here actually i still have i have very chubby cheeks and dimples and stuff yeah I made my grand entrance into the world, screaming, and crying, and probably piercing some ears. I don't know actually how loud I was when I was little. We're going to skip to age three. Reasons? I do not know what the heck happened since then. I don't even actually know how, what happened in the hospital or anything with me. I only remember from age three to present, and I don't remember everything 100%, so all these clips might be a little missing missing some memories. Get it a long time ago. <clears throat> age three. That was a cute little dragon. I had the cutest little eyes, according to everyone, and I also had a fro. Not a really thick one, but I had really curly hair that my hair did poof. My hair still does poof when it gets really long, only it poofs wave-like and it flips a lot. Like, actually, if my side, if my, the side burns actually grew out longer, they wouldn't go down flat. They would actually start to curve out about right, right around where my, they end right now. It's really funny. <laughs> so, yeah. I had a kind of a poofy hair. Age three. I was a cute little dragon, had adorable little eyes. I was innocent. 
most of the time. I went to a small little preschool and a church. I don't know if they still do preschool there, but I knew back then they did kindergarten for a few years and then I remember that they didn't do kindergarten anymore when I graduated from preschool. <sighs> yeah. I don't really remember much of my preschool. All I remember is my grandfather used to pick me up and take me to McDonald's every day after preschool and I get McDonald's. Best memories ever is when food is involved. That is a great quote by me. <laughs> so we're gonna skip to kindergarten, which is pretty much next year. Now these videos I am going into a kind of a lot of detail, so. Age four, kindergarten. I went to the local elementary school. Yay. It was also the school my brother and my sister went to. Now, for all the people who have older siblings and went to the same school as your siblings, you will understand this very well. My brother wasn't the best kid in the world, but he still did good. My sister, on the other hand, straight A's, perfect, had great record. I'm new to the school. Am I going to be like my brother or my sister? That's what the school kept thinking, because both my brother and my sister went to the school before me. My brother was in middle school at the time. He's, old, he's the oldest. Sister was still in elementary school. I think she was in third grade. Yeah, she was in third grade. Sorry, I gotta think. I had a really interesting kindergarten teacher. Reasons why. She only liked one kid in the class. And this is my mother telling me this, okay? Ooh, excuse me. This is my mother saying this, and a lot of you know I don't get along very well with my mother. This was before all the issues with us. She would say that the teacher liked this one kid and expected every kid to be like that kid, that one kid, because they behaved well, they did all their classwork, they had no issue at all, and it's like, now I'm thinking about it, she expected way too much out of kindergartners. We were four! <laughs> we're a bunch of four-year-olds. What? You expect so much out of a four-year-old. Now, think about this. She expected us to finish all our classwork that we had for the day, not, not talk out, always raise our hand when we want to speak, and like, no behavior in any way. I know someone who has a, I think he's three now. I don't know, I gotta ask. But, you know, she has a little kid who's under the age of five. And I actually asked her this. I, you know, I was talking to her about this. And she was shocked as well that the teacher expected way too much out of four-year-olds. And she's like, I don't even expect that out of my kid. You know, I expect them to behave well, but not 100%. You know, everybody has slip-ups. It's all about being human. Now, if I really was good at editing, I would do the rainbow thing from Spongebob. And instead of imagination it'd be human <laughs> of course it's me with a really, really creepy face yeah so I had a very interesting teacher I don't remember kindergarten that well I'm telling you this because I don't really remember much of my life uh, because the big chunk I'm not talking about kind of took away a lot of the memories like where I don't remember a lot of my childhood because of that because that really scarred me and broke me down but in first grade, I went to the same elementary school. The principal started noticing a pattern, I should say, with me. She knew what my brother was like. Started thinking I was like my brother. Wow. 
So, she tried every way to get me suspended in a way. I would get in so much trouble when I would do small things. Like, I, you were supposed to have your own crayons and color pencils and stuff, and I wouldn't share because they were mine. And back in the beginning, the other kids would break them. And my mom would get upset because she would have to buy me a new pack of crayons because the school never provided them. So she said, don't share them with people that you know are going to break your crayons. So I wouldn't share. And of course, one of the kids was all like, you're not sharing. And I got in trouble. I got sent home early for not sharing my crayons. Share your crayons, people. <laughs> you don't want to get sent home early. I'm being dead serious and I'm trying not to laugh, but I seriously did not share my crayons. <laughs> I'm not joking. I, I mean, share your crayons, people. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> want me to share my crayons? <laughs> I don't want to get sent home early. I'm sorry. <laughs> this memory was actually kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah. 130 something crayons, maybe 160 something crayons. I haven't counted them all because it's two sets of crayons combined in one box, that's all. I mean, I'll share. As long as I don't go home early. <laughs> all right, let's put the crayons away. You see, I don't have a camera person. At the time, the camera person would turn that off and I would put that away and then we'd go back to this. This is raw content, guys. I ain't cutting that out. You actually mostly get raw content with me. I'm trying to edit out as much as possible. Unless I'm blabbering for like three minutes. Just saying some random stuff because I get off I can get off track very easily. Like I am right now. Get back on track, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. And getting back on track is making me laugh because of the crayon issue. <clears throat> so I got in trouble. I got sent home early. My mom's like How'd you get some home early? You know, like confused. And when she read the referral, now if you don't know what this is, the referral is kind of like a document in a way of saying why the kid got in trouble, what's the punishment. I could say it's like punishment, but what what they what do they get for behaving bad? It explains that and says who gave it and who signed it. Like, you know, who gave out the referral and yada yada. My mom's reading the referral and looks at me. And I, you know, as a little kid, you know, when you're little, the second you get in trouble, you're all scared and you're traumatized pretty much. And you're like, no. <laughs> so my mom <laughs> goes back to the school. Now, my mom didn't like leaving work early. She also was working two jobs at the time. My dad was also working a job too, okay? Just letting you know. So my mother went back to the school asked for the principal and said, because she told me this, my daughter, I am a female, guys, okay? I identify myself as a guy, so if you do hear she, her, fe daughter, all that stuff, don't be like, wait, you're a guy. I identify myself as one. I'm a trans. Back to the story. My daughter got sent home early because she didn't share her crayons. Boy, did I love my mother back then. She fought so hard for me. We also had some issues on the bus to where the principal didn't believe us. We had these kids that were um, a stop after us, I would say, or a couple stops after us. So they would they were playing i they kept pushing the they were playing with the a bracelet you know them rubber bracelets and they were playing with it and they smacked my sister and she got a little bit of a red mark and stuff and i was pushing the seat belt we had seat belts on the bus so they went over the bus seats you know and i was trying to like you know I was small, but I didn't like the seatbelt, so I flipped them over. Well, the kid in front of us, who only was one kid at the time, threw the seatbelts back over. 
And at the time, those seat belts were really heavy metal, by the way. Just letting you know. I had my head against the seat. The seat belts were long enough to hit me on the head. And I screamed. Bus driver stops the bus. Now this bus driver is a complete asshole. Not joking. He is an asshole. Comes up and says, why were you screaming? And I had a, hu I had a huge bruise right here. My hair, of course, was too long, so you couldn't really see it, but I had a bruise. My mom moved my hair around and saw I had a bruise. So, of course, the kid doesn't get in trouble, you know, but my mom, because found out that he only got a warning and I got, you know, a warning saying, don't play with the seatbelts. I wasn't. Uh, and also my sister with the mark on her shoulder took pictures of the mark and tried to take a picture of my bruise but because my hair is so dark and it was also really long my my hair one time was down to my elbows and it was long I have pictures of me with really long hair and I look really bad I look like a two-year-old when I was supposed to be set and when I was supposed to be five sorry I'm not pointing it out. Anyway, so my mother went back to the office with photos saying, this is my daughter's arm. This is my other daughter's head. Me and my sister. Sorry, the fridge just decided to cool, to uh, cool down temperature wise. When it turns on, it's not as loud, but I, I notice it. So, yeah. The kid got in trouble. I don't know what he got. He was a bad kid. So, oh yeah, PJ Pant Day. I get these for Christmas. The kid got in trouble, thanks to my mother. Now you're all going to say, Kai, then why did your mother and you have such a bad relationship? Why do you talk so bad about her? Because the problem didn't start until middle school. That's why. So I told you it's a huge chunk of my life. Just letting you know. So. Battery is starting to die. I mean, it was just at 95% when I started in here, and the video's only been on for 20 minutes recording. I'll be back with a new battery. Welcome back. Sorry I had to change the battery, and I'm sorry if the lighting is two different shades. I will warn that, like, in the beginning of the video. But this part, I'm using natural sunlight, and in that room, because the way my layout of my house is, I don't get any sun in that room around this time. So I have to rely on my um, ceiling fan. Not too good. Not good at all. So it gives off the yellow light, which really shows off my face in a very interesting way. Not joking. <laughs> Not good. Okay. So back to the story. Where was I? Oh yeah, the kid got in trouble. And that's all I remember of first grade. <laughs> Second grade is kind of where it starts to turn bad in a way. It's only middle school that where it gets really bad with me and my mother's relationship. And high school as well. So I'm going to stop the whole video there. We're going to start second grade when I can record, which is very limited right now because I am currently doing a lot of interviews for schools and scholarships and stuff. Don't bother me about student loans. I'm avoiding them as much as possible. I am trying to go to college, okay? So I'm kind of doing stuff with universities and stuff right now and, well, the local college right now because of personal things. But yeah. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> I'm not sick. I just have a really dry throat right now. But I will see you guys later. Bye. Also, like, comment, share, 
and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell, but not too hard because it has feelings. I mean, every bell that's hit and gets sad breaks my heart so much. Also, comment if you want to actually see more. I mean, no matter what you guys say, I'm probably going to post more, but it's probably going to take a while. This is going to take a lot of editing. And you'll understand why. I do everything by myself. And you all know why, because of the beginning of this video. Bye. Have an awesome full day. See? Here's my arm. About to hit the... About to actually hit the stop button because I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. I've always liked to play with fire. Oh.